Hello everyone, welcome back to a brand new video of Just Nerd Guy on the Internet. And in today's Minecraft map review, we are going to be reviewing the Arma Celtic made by Creepercraft City. And yes, so here I am finally getting around to reviewing the Big Four. Um, this is, of course, White Star Line. Um, and yeah, so the uh, Celtic was the uh, first ship of the Big Four. Um, it would be followed by three more ships of the same class, which would be the Cedric, Baltic, and Adriatic. And, of course, some of these names were used in uh, the original Oceanic class of White Star. So, this is actually the second Celtic. And, yeah, so, um, another very interesting thing about Celtic is that um, since the Big Four were all over 20,000 gross tons. The Celtic was officially the biggest ship um, in the world ever since the Great Eastern. So it was bigger than the Great Eastern in length and tonnage. Um, with the Oceanic, it was bigger than the Great Eastern, but only in terms of length. So it, it wasn't still as, it didn't have a uh, higher gross tonnage than the Great Eastern. So, but here to Celtic, it does. So, yeah, it took uh, over 40 years to have a ship bigger than the Great Eastern, so. And, yeah, so, uh, yeah, here's the Celtic. Um, it was the only one of the big four to actually um, wreck. Um, it wrecked in 1928. Um, the other big four ships were, uh, they never had anything, you know, bad enough happen to them in the sense that they would sink or have, you know, um, you know, just, just, just wreck or sank, they were all scrapped, so, yeah, they were all pretty successful, you know, if you consider the Olympic class, which followed, uh, this class of ships, you know, you have two of three sinking, so, um, and yeah, so the, uh, Celtic could also be considered one of the first White Star ships to, uh, consider the, uh, whole, um, luxury over speed policy that White Star had just started, um, since the concept of the Celtic and Big Four actually does go as far back as 1898, by that time, White Star pretty much decided they were going to focus on luxury instead of speed. Of course, the first ship that historians consider, the first White Star ship that they consider started that, was the Cymric in 1897. And of course, you had the Ocean Act II, which was still under construction. So, yeah. And speaking of which, um, yeah, the Celtic is also very similar to the Oceanic since it was only launched a couple years after it. So you are going to see a lot of similarities, you know, here and there. And also since this uh, was the last major class of ships before the Olympic class, there were some ships launched in between uh, the Big Four and Olympic class, but those were pretty small. You know, nothing like major pretty much. So, and also there were a few tenders as well, so, yeah. Anyways, yeah, with the uh, Olympic class, yeah, there are going to be a lot of similarities, as you will see. But there are also going to be some differences and some pretty interesting uh, designs here, which you are about to see uh, pretty soon. Anyways, yeah, that's pretty much enough for its history. Um, so, yeah, uh, with the exterior, um, as you can see, it's very detailed. This is... Um, you know, a newer ship, I think it, uh, came out last year, I think, maybe, or late 2019, somewhere around there. Um, so yeah, very detailed, uh, looks like all of the rigging is here, at least to my knowledge. Um, I have a rigging plan of the Baltic, and it does show the, uh, apparatus between the two innermost masts, but, of course, um, I don't think Celtic would have had the, uh, Marconi you know, wireless, you know, for the, the wireless room, so. Um, and uh, I really like the uh, color of the funnels here. You got the correct white star buff, as you can see, he used mushroom, which uh, I think right now, currently in Minecraft, is the most accurate uh, representation of it. So if you're going to build a white star ship, um, use mushroom for the funnels, because it's, it's very close. It's pretty much identical to the the actual uh, uh, buff, so it's very cool as you can see. Um, you know, the masts are also the correct color. It was kind of like this brownish, uh, kind of orange, reddish color. 
you know, it's different than Cunard, which had this kind of sand color. And of course, you got, you know, two flags. You got the, uh, the U.S. flag and White Star flag. Um, and yeah, so I think it's about time we actually start checking out the interior. Um, so yeah, let's start on the bridge, which is, uh, pretty much an ideal spot for starting these, uh, reviews. You know, since it's the highest point of the ship, and also, you know, where the ship is controlled by. I don't know, just like starting out on the bridge. So, of course, you got your uh, more slams, you got the bridge wings... And you got the actual bridge here with a, uh, as you can see, the wheelhouse also has the curved uh, a wall here, which is representative of Oceanic's wheelhouse. And also Olympic would also have this, the Olympic class. So yeah, you got telegraphs, you got the helm, you got some other, you know, instruments here and there for, uh, for, for navigating, yeah. And you can look out over the uh, forecastle there. And yeah, of course, back here you have the wheelhouse, of course. Yeah, this flooring here, you you will see on other White Star ships. We, we actually saw the uh, wheelhouse on the ceramic had the same flooring here. And then, yeah, so you got the chart room. And that's actually all that's up here. Because um, then you just got a staircase leading down to the officer's quarters. Um, Let's see. And yeah, so that's pretty much it. And then back here... You just kind of got a walkway here that connects to the superstructure. Now you see that the big four had a very interesting uh, design here, where the bridge was pretty much separate from the rest of the superstructure. It was like on its own like island, uh, which you don't see on Oceanic, and you also don't see on the Olympic class because the bridge was um, connected to the superstructure. But here on the big four, it wasn't, and I'm still trying to figure out why it was like that. Um, I was informed that the reason it did it was they did this was it has something to do with the way the the hull was configured with the uh, cargo spaces. So, but not really sure. It's definitely very interesting. Um, later on, Adriatic um, Sea Deck would actually be all connected here. These two areas would be connected, but then yeah, A and B Deck would still be separate. So, very interesting design. And then all that's up here in the actual uh, roof of the boat deck is just open deck space here. Um, there was a photo actually taken here of a passenger, so this is actually where it was taken and facing uh, towards the bridge area. So, and then you got skylights. Yeah, this particular skylight is over the lounge, and the compass platform is actually rests right on top of it. So here you have it. Um, as you can see, there's a lot of detail. You got vents, you know, more skylights, vents, yeah, for the uh, boiler rooms, as you can see. Um, and yeah, so more skylights and just more stuff here and there. Uh, and you also got skylights uh, overlooking the first class hallways on B and C decks. So we'll take a closer look at that later. And then, yeah, just more vents, and you also got the actual engine casing uh, skylight here. Um, and yeah, that's actually pretty much it for the roof of boat deck, or A deck, so we can start with that and start getting into the actual passenger uh, areas. Um, but first, before we do, uh, um, yeah, we have to uh, check this area out first. So yeah, you got stairs leading up to the bridge from the boat deck for convenient access. Um, so yeah, there should be a door here. Yep, here it is. And yeah, so you got the actual officer's quarters here. It's actually two decks. Um, up here is actually just the captain and some other areas. So you got the pilot here. And this style right here you're going to see throughout the entire ship for first class in the officer's quarters. So be ready to see that quite a bit. Um, so yeah, you got the chart room, two chart rooms. I think this would probably be the navigation room. Probably. I don't know. I only have full deck plans for Adriatic, and I know there were some changes here and there, of course. So, And yeah, you got the captain's sitting room and bedroom. And the bathroom actually isn't connected, so as you can see, it's adjacent here. So, so yeah, captain's bath. Really small here. 
And then you got stairs leading down to the rest of the actual officers. And here's the staircase that leads up to the chart room. Again, this flooring is, you know, very popular in some of the other White Star ships. And then you yeah, got down here in the promenade deck or B deck, you have the rest of the officers. So you got, got the chief officer. Again, you know, this style here, you're going to see a lot. You have fourth officer. So you have fifth officer. A lot of officers because it's a, you know, big ship. Yeah, so you got the bathroom for the officers, first officer, third officer, second officer. So yeah, you pretty much get the idea here. And then yeah, you got a door leading out here. And you got more walkways connecting the actual superstructure. And you do have a couple of boats here as well. These look like emergency cutters since they're swung out. Um, so yeah, as you can see, a lot of detail. And yeah, so let's actually start with the boat deck here. So as you can see, a lot of promenade space, as you can see. Uh, and towards the back, there are some more lifeboats. Um, you got, you know, more skylights here. And yeah, so here we have the grand entrance. So yeah, this is the main, you know, forward first class staircase for first class. Although there really is no aft staircase, so it's really just this main staircase for navigating the different decks here. Um, so yeah, you got a big skylight here. Very nice and very colorful, as you can see. Um, so yeah, this staircase right here uh, would remain relatively unchanged on the first three ships. And then on Adriatic, there actually would be a hallway here that leads to the reading and writing room. So, and also on Adriatic, there would be an elevator right about here. And the Adriatic would be one of the first ocean liners to have an elevator. Another very interesting thing that I've noticed is that there's only one set of doors leading into the lounge. As you can see on this side, it's just, there's no doors, it's just a little couch here. So, very interesting. Don't know why, you know, there's not one set of doors here. But yeah, speaking of which, you do have the lounge, of course, for first class. Um, as you can see, it's a very different design than what you see on Oceanic and the Olympic class. So, uh, yeah, so just get a better look at this here. Um, as you can see, a lot of detail. Yeah, even the ceiling, you know, the actual, like, molding here is done. If you look at photographs of the actual uh, spaces. Um, so, yeah, of course, a skylight right above the lounge. And you do actually also have a skylight slash dome here. Now, the Celtic is the only ship of the big four that had this, where you had the um, a skylight over the dome of the dining saloon. Um, the other big four ships did have a dome over the dining saloon, but you couldn't, like, look through it. So, like, you wouldn't be able to see this. And, of course, you do see that on Oceanic and uh, Teutonic, so it's... You know, only natural that they would do something like this, but then they got rid of this on Cedric. So yeah, I mean everything you know does look pretty accurate here. Um, the actual seating um it's supposed to be blue because I saw in a uh, brochure with color um, illustrations of the interiors that's actually kind of more of a kind of blue green color. Um, but Creepercraft did acknowledge this and he said, uh, you know, it's because of. When the ship was built in version 1.12, there really was no, like, blue, uh, like, stairs he could use to represent the, uh, correct color of the seating. So, you know, if you just acknowledge it, you know, you'll just, uh, it's good to know, but, like, everything else is really well done. You know, got the bookcase here with the clock. Um, so, yeah, a lot of detail, as you can see. Very nice. So, I think that about wraps it up for the actual lounge here. Um, so, yeah, staircase, of course. Yeah, A deck. Uh, you got another set of doors leading out onto the port side here. And then, yeah, so you got a hallway that leads to the smoke room. Now, this was also a little bit different in Adriatic because, um, of the, because of the addition of the reading and writing room, the hallway that led to the smoke room was much longer. So... But here on the first three ships, it was pretty much like this. You know, you got the gentleman lavatory here. Um, skylight, of course, because, um, you know, smoke room is pretty much for the gentleman. And you do also have the bar here with a skylight as well. 
So, of course, a bar for the smoke room here for drinks. And then, yeah, here's the actual smoke room with a very interesting uh, wallpaper design, which you see on Celtic and Cedric, and then they got... It was a different design on Baltic and Adriatic. So, yeah, not sure if I really like the wallpaper, and I'm not bashing Creepercraft for this, I'm just talking about the original design. Yeah, it's very interesting here. Um, I do like the flooring, because it reminds me of Oceanic's uh, smoke room floor. Um, but yeah, I don't know about the actual wallpaper. I'm just not a big fan of it, you know. But, you know, there's a skylight here. One big skylight on Oceanic and Teutonic. You had two smaller ones. Um, so you got plenty of seating here. Um, on the later ships, the windows would be enlarged, so you would have bigger windows on Cedric. Um, here, the windows are smaller, um, and they're the same ones you see on Teutonic and Oceanic. And it's also kind of like the... Uh, the same windows that you really see on the officers' quarters on the Olympic class. So it's those types of windows. You see them a lot on some of the other White Star ships and really Harlan Wolf ships in general. So uh, smoke room looks good. And actually, that's really it for boat deck. I mean, then you just got promenade space here. You know, you got stairs leading up. And yeah, you got the actual boats here. Um, yeah, these are not well in Davits which you see on the Olympic class. These are actually a different type of lifeboat Davits system. The Cedric would introduce the well in Davits. So. And yeah, so yeah, just, just more skylights, you know, ladders. Um, so yeah, skylights, and you got, you know, entrance leading to the engine casing and to the engine room. Very nice, and hang on, what is over here? Oh yeah, the tank room, so yeah. You know, for the um, the water tanks. Um, so yeah, you see that's another West Star Line ships, of course. And then you got a hatch leading to the boiler room. So just a little bit of uh, crew spaces there. So yeah, very detailed. And you got a little staircase here. And that's actually it for the boat deck. Um, you know, you just got this roof here of this little structure here. Um, this deck house right here on the other big four ships would uh, be enlarged, you know, on this deck, so it would have a roof here. But on the Celtic, it's only, um, the only, like, actual areas for the boat deck are for the main first-class superstructure. And yeah, so there's the boat deck. Um, and up next we have the promenade deck here, so we already checked out the officer's quarters. So we can go to the first-class area. And, of course, you got the plaque here. Um, so, let's see. Yeah, passengers. Yeah, they're not allowed, you know, to the officer's quarters. So, you got more promenade space, as you can see. And we're back in the main entrance. So, here we are. So, this is where the stairs would come down from. You know, very nice staircase, as you can see. You know, kind of similar to um, Oceanic's. And also, uh, actually, Teutonics, because they actually kind of zigzag, so. Um, so, yeah, you got the clock and a little uh, thing here, which um, I think it would, like, tell you how much you, should, you should set your watch back for. Because, um, you know, on the Atlantic, you are traveling across time zones, so you're going to have to adjust your, um, you know, watch accordingly. Uh, which is something we see in the Honor and Gloria demos, where it, there's like the little panel at each landing of the Grand Staircase that tells you uh, set your watch like, I don't know, 49 minutes back, so something like that. And it might also say like how many miles were traveled each day, because I know Cunard did that, but I'm not sure if White Star did, so. Um, and yeah, for the actual companion way, um, you know, would remain relatively unchanged for the other big four ships. It, there would be small changes, like I think on Cedric, there's like two sets of double doors. Here on Celtic, it's just one set of double doors and one window. So yeah, as you can see, a lot of seating here, similar styles to Oceanic, um, you know, staircase, as you can see. It's It, re it reminds me very much of it. Um, and these uh, actual passenger hallways as well remind me so much of Oceanic. So yeah, just, you know, the same styles, just reused. And yeah, so you got some passenger accommodations, so as you can see, um, 
first class rooms were also very similar to the actual officers quarters and this style yeah you like i mentioned you do see this a lot there is no period styles like you see on the olympic class all these rooms are pretty much the same style you know kind of this green floor and you know this wall paneling right here so yeah and yeah so you got some baths here of course you know just more cabins you know usually two berth um but there are some you know one berth cabins as well so yeah like this one right here and yeah so just more cabins in this little area and then back here is yeah more rooms so actually kind of more like state rooms because they um the uh, state rooms here at this like forward section here actually have shared baths you know there are no full-on private baths um it's just shared baths and yeah like i said only these rooms have shared baths because then the rooms back here they don't it's just state rooms here so you're if you're staying in one of these you're gonna have to use the communal washrooms and yeah so here you have the skylights right above just to let him some uh some air of course well, well some light as well because um you know um it kind of can get dark here in these hallways because there are no windows and yeah you have lavatories as well you know down these hallways so you know communal washrooms and baths and then yeah the promenade just kind of wraps around back here you got a staircase leading up here just outside of the engine casing and then yeah back here this is actually now second class so you have the um yeah kind of the barrier here so yeah this is yeah yeah first class passengers are now allowed forward of this here and all that's really up here for the promenade deck for second class is just this open deck space with you know some lifeboats and uh all that's really here is a staircase leading down and a lavatory so yeah on adriatic of course um the uh the smoke room would be up here and yeah you got more walkways this is actually now third class yeah so past this gate this is actually third class so yeah you got you know kind of these like little structures here not really sure what to call them but you do have a lot of seating for um, passengers here and these cargo hatches look very interesting because they're not really that tall hmm. and yeah you got stairs leading to the actual passenger accommodations and you see there the poop deck here is very interesting because it's not like raised you know you have like a little white section that you see on the oceanic class teutonic um olympic class so it's just like flat which is one of the differences between those ships and then at the very back of course you got the docking bridge which is only for crew yep so uh, again a lot of detail as you can see yeah very impressive and yeah these staircases also always uh interested me because they're not like covered so if it rains then all the rain would just go down there so it's very interesting never did really get that um so yeah up next we have the upper promenade deck or sea deck and yeah so let's go all the way forward so yeah as you can see the focusel is the same deal it's all flat and it looks more it resembles more of the cargo ships of white star you know like we see of tropic and ceramic so yeah going up to the prow here so that's what it would look like if you're standing here and you look back towards the superstructure um so yeah you got a hatch going down through the four peak a lot of detail as you can see anchor chains um you know cargo hatches the breakwater winches vents a lot of detail as you can see and you also do have the lookout here with the uh, plaque here, SS Celtic, Celtic, you know, whatever, whichever way you want to pronounce it, the American way or British way. And yeah, you have more of these staircases that are completely open to the elements. <laughs> yep. 
yeah, just more barriers and gates. And then, yeah, back towards the superstructure. So, yeah, in this area, you have cabins for first class. So, yeah, you got a separate entrance here. But you do also have the surgery room. So, here's where it would have been, along with the actual doctor here, his uh, cabin. And yeah, you got a staircase here for convenient access to the dining saloon because down there is right outside of the dining saloon. So if you're staying in one of these rooms, you know, you don't have to go outside. You can just go down these stairs here. And yeah, so you got, you know, cabins here. Looks like it's uh, uh, one and two berths, so, but these are pretty small. And as you can see, you also do have the stained glass windows, which we see on Oceanic. So, you know, not all of them had the stained glass windows, only a handful of them did. And then, yeah, like I said, on Adriatic, these two areas would be connected. And yeah, you do have some of the light and air units here. Um, and you do have gangways here, so if you're uh, boarding f through first class, you go through these gangways. There would be like a little ladder here alongside of the ship. You would climb, and you would go through here, and through this entrance. This is one of the main entrances for first class. So, I, so as you can see, this level right here is pretty grand and big, so because, you know, this is the first area you would walk into. So, you know, they would try to make it, you know, as nice and welcoming as possible. They even have rugs here, as you can see. So, yeah, um, you know, more clocks, more seating, pretty much the same style here. On Adriatic, the inquiry office would be added here, so you just got the purser here for now. And yeah, and you got, you know, some more cabins here, and these cabins are, you know, connected directly to the companion ways here, as you can see. Um, so yeah, just more cabins, really. Yeah. And here you can see kind of, you know, how the stairs actually kind of zigzag here. So, you know, stairs go to, down, you know, towards the forward section, and then they go down uh, towards the stern, and then forwards again, so... And yeah, so yeah, this deck is also laid out very similar to the um, to the deck above. You know, it's just more state rooms here with the uh, again the shared baths here for only these state rooms here. And it's similar to the Olympic class suites because you know you got like the two uh, bedrooms and on on the Olympic class this would be the sitting room, but of course this is just another cabin here. And of course also all in the same style. So yeah, you just got the emergency exit, because you have the funnels coming up through here, so the uptake goes up through here. And yeah, just pantry, again, just the same styles, as you can see, same flooring and everything. Yeah, gentleman lavatory. So yeah, all of this would be pretty much the same on the other ships. And yeah, so you got a cabin here, and, and on the other side, yes, this is the uh, barber shop. So here's where the actual barber shop would be. Kind of relatively where on the Olympic class the barber shop would be, you know, kind of towards the aft section if there was an aft staircase. But of course, on a big four, there isn't an aft staircase. And then, yeah, so just more cabins. That's really all that's there. And then, yeah, so now we're in second class. So, you know, we've got staircases here. Which really would be for crew, because up here this is first class. Um, and then let's go inside this deck house here. Um, so you got entrances back here. So as you can see, a kind of a similar style here for second class. You know, kind of the same flooring and everything. So yeah, up here is the library. Or lounge, really, if you want to consider it. Uh, again, I think the seating here would be the same as the first class. Um, lounge because um you know it's very similar it's just a scaled down version of the first class one you know bookcase seating you know and then you do also have the smoke room so very colorful uh stained glass as you can see uh also very nice room and there is a bar connected to it and also a uh, water closet here with urinals as you can see 
And yeah, so, um, you know, you do see us on the other big four ships. On Adriatic, like I've mentioned, the smoke room was actually up here. So the uh, public rooms were kind of stacked up on top of each other. So yeah, C deck. Um, and also kind of these rooms you would see on other White Star ships. Um, the big four design was not... Well, the design of the big four wasn't really only limited to the big four. Ships such as the Arabic and kind of the Simric really did have this similar design to the big four. They're pretty much the scaled down versions of the big four. So... Um, and then, yeah, so back here is just third class, the uh, open deck space, which we saw. And, yeah, so next up we have the saloon deck. So now we're within the hall here, as you can see. And, of course, the saloon deck is named that because you have the first and second class dining saloon. And also third. So let's go through the gangway here, as you can see. I like this new gangway door design on... Uh, on some of his older ships, he used iron um, doors for gangways, but I think this actually kind of looks a little bit better. You know, resembles more of an actual gangway. So, so at the forward section, you have crew slash third class. So, here we have it. So, third class would enter through these gangways. And you do have the stairs leading up to the promenade deck. Here, as you can see, so they could be allowed up here, just not past really the breakwater. The breakwater seems to be the limit for, you know, where passengers could go. And yeah, you got a big cargo hatch here, as you can see, running down through the ship. So yeah, crew only. So yeah, now that is just strictly for crew here. But this could be used by third class and crew. So yeah, just more crew spaces. Um, not much to really say about it, you know. They all pretty much look the same here, you know, same furnishings. Um, and of course, you do have a um, similar style to what you would see on the ceramic and its crew spaces. As you can see, if you watch that video, it's pretty much the same here. Uh, looks like some lockers here. Yep. Um, and you got stairs yeah, leading down to the actual accommodations here. You got the lavatories, just to give you an idea of what they look like here. Yeah, plumber shop. Yeah, third class entrance here. Yeah, these areas are a little bit of a maze, so, you know, don't be surprised if you get lost. You know, use a deck plan. And then, yeah, so, the crew and third class auditories look pretty much the same. And another very interesting thing that I've always wondered about is why do they have these windows in the first class looking into the third class slash um, crew areas? I never really got that. It's, uh, it's very interesting. So yeah, and, and then down here in the saloon deck uh, for first class is, you know, just cabins here with the, uh, you know, with the stained glass. And here's where the stairs lead up to the, um, these cabins up here. So yeah, lavatories. On an, and on Adriatic, there would be a staircase here that leads down to the Turkish bath. So down on F deck. Um, since, you know, Adriatic was the only one to have the, uh, Turkish bath. So, on the first three big four ships, it was just, uh, like this. It didn't change much. And, yeah, so you have the dining saloon here for first class, of course. With the dome here. Very nice. You know, it's smaller than Oceanic and Teutonic's, but still very nice. And the dining saloon would become, as uh, the ships went on, it would kind of grow in size a bit, you know, because bigger ships, you know, equals more passengers. Um, the style would remain kind of the same, except on Adriatic it was a little bit different, so. And then, yeah, this is where the actual stairs come down from the uh, main staircase, and this is actually where the main staircase terminates. It doesn't go down any further because you have the food storage areas right underneath us. And yeah, I always like this area right here, you know, you would come down the stairs and you could kind of like look into the dining saloon. You know, you, you kind of see this on other unrelated ships like the uh, Franconia, where it had like the window overlooking into the dining saloon from the second floor. I just always like that. It makes it look grander, you know, we have like this whole thing. Kind of wish the Olympic class had something like that. And of course, you also do see this with Oceanic as well. 
and then back here so on the starboard side you have cabins and on the port side is the actual pantry and galley areas so it's very similar to ceramic as you can see very similar and you do have the chief steward here for first class so yeah similar you know floor and you know coverings and then yeah and, and then these are first class cabins so you know pretty typical here more of the stained glass windows here emergency exit and then yeah that kind of leads to like scotland road on the big four and then this is second class so this is strictly second class here you know, we got some stewardesses here, um, cabins here. Oh, actually, that's a bath. So, here's an actual cabin, as you can see. They're very small, but they're still very nice. The emergency exit. Oh, yeah, to the engine room, or casing, rather. Yeah, crew only, so it looks like the galley here. And then, yeah, so right here, these stairs actually come down from the library and smoke room. And then yes, yeah, so more cabins, and here's the actual dining saloon. So you're going to notice that the dining saloon is very small here, and it also only extends to one side. As you can see, it does not extend the, wolf, the full width of the ship like you see on Oceanic and Majestic. Um, it's only to one side, which is very interesting. Um, on the Adriatic, it actually does extend the full width of the ship, but not, but not on the other big four ships. So as you can see, Adriatic was uh, quite different from the other big four ships. So, and like we saw, first class, second class also has like these windows looking into um, third class and crew. So, and here you have another gangway here. So yeah, same style as we saw in the forward section. And you do have the third class hospital here. Um, yeah, so yeah, more stairs leading to the actual cabins here, lavatories, a little bit of crew areas. So yeah, wash place. Wow, that's a lot of uh, wash basins there. And yeah, these stairs, you know, come up from the from the promenade deck. And yeah, you got some pretty big gangways here. So this would be kind of like one of the main areas for uh, boarding if you're in third class. So yeah, just more staircases. And back here, you actually do have the dining saloon for third class. And you can see that's like separated by a bulkhead because um, as you see with the Olympic class, the uh, saloons are separate for men and women and families. So and this is like one of the first times in White Star Line history where third class are given like an actual like dining saloon. Because on earlier ships, you know, the dining areas would be within the actual like accommodation. But here it's, you know, separate, you know, third class get their own little area here. So very nice here. And you also got some careers back here for the actual steering engine which on adriatic a deck house would be given for the actual steering engine but here it's just down here so yeah very nice dining saloon and of course there are photos of some of these uh, spaces as well so we know what they look like and is that actually well, I guess we could also check out a little bit of the careers. So there actually is kind of like a Scotland road here that you would see on the Olympic class. The main, you know, career areas, as you can see, you have the engineer's mess room here. Relatively same spot as the Olympic class here. Uh, galley, so. Air hatch. Okay, yeah, so you, you do have some entrances leading to the actual, um, like boiler casing and such. And here's the actual galley here, uh, pantry, you know, for first class, and then dining saloon. So we're right, right outside of it. And then, yeah, that's it for the saloon deck. Um, next up, we have the upper deck or E deck. So kind of at the midpoint of the hull here. So forward, you have crew spaces pretty much, yeah. So just to give you an idea of what these look like here, they're kind of boring. Yeah, not really all that exciting. This comes up to uh, 
that area. Um, so yeah, just gonna fly through here again. This area is an absolute maze. And yeah, you got, you know, watertight doors, Lee and Cook, Stewart's. Yeah, more Stewart's. A lot of Stewart's here, as you can see. Uh, and then, yeah, back in third class. So you got the third class hospital here. More stairs leading down. And you got like this like dining room here, which is for third class. So it's just kind of another area here. Maybe for the actual, you know, more men, I think. Because, you know, the fourth section is for single men or groups of men. That's what I would think. You know, just got a dining room here. And then, and then, yeah, you have like this hallway here. Yeah, crew only, so this probably leads to the actual, oh no, hang on. Okay, yeah, so these are the food storage areas. So they're actually not like towards the stern like you see on the other ships. They're actually here, more midship slash forward on, on really just the uh, starboard side, so. So yeah, here are all the uh, food storage areas, yeah, sweets. And then yeah, just more crew areas as you can see here. Um, and then yeah, back to third class. Wait, what? This is third class? This looks more like second class here. Interesting. Although I did have a uh, second class plan, but I'm not sure if this would have. It might be like alternate second slash third class cabins. Yeah. Let's see, crew only. To mail office. Oh, yeah, so that leads to the mail room. We'll get to that later if I don't forget to. And yeah, this is actually third class. So yeah, as you can see, it's very bare. <laughs> Just white walls. Um, you know, we got the flooring here. Very basic flooring. And these stairs come up uh, right, right outside of the dining saloon. All right, yeah. So yeah, you know, you stay in your, uh, you got your uh, cabin here, and you have stairs leading up to the dining room, and then up to the deck. So everything is, uh, you know, relatively easy to access. And yeah, it's just like more third class cabins here. Yeah, and just some crew areas. Yeah, it just kind of uh, flew by E deck because it's really boring, guys. Like, it's just, just crew in third class. It's not really that exciting. It's pretty much the same thing. And then, yeah, we have F deck. So, um, yeah, a bunch of crew areas again. Got some mess rooms and cargo spaces, which are dark. Oh, that's good. It's, it's realistic, but, you know, it's hard to see anything. And then, yeah, you just got, you know, more basic third-class cabins here. All the same. You know. Same style, it just arranged a bit differently. Yeah, and then... Uh, this third class area right here would actually be the Turkish bath on Adriatic. So, I think it's this one, right? Um, let's just fly right up. So, yeah, it would be these areas. Oh, we're back on E deck. Hang on. Okay, back on F deck. And yeah, just more crew areas. And you got, you know, access to the boiler rooms. And here are the actual boiler rooms. With the uptakes here. So there's nothing at the sides here, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, actual engine room, as you can see. And then back in third class here. At the stern. Oh, this is interesting here. 
so yeah, it, it's just a pretty much the same thing. And where's the actual uh, mail room? I want to check it out because um. Oh, so that's down the hold. Okay, never mind. But yeah, as you can see, the mail room is actually at the stern, which on other white starships, it's always at the bow. So it's more like Lusitania and Mauritania, where their mail room is at the stern. So yeah, all of this area is pretty much the same. It's actually kind of like a maze. Well, to me, it feels like a maze because I'm not as familiar with the uh, these areas as I am with the Olympic class. And then, yeah, just more careers at the back here, like a store. And yeah, so last but not least, uh, let's check out the actual hold here. So we'll start with the Orlop deck. And then, yeah, so of course there is no more passenger areas. It's just, you know, cargo holds. We're not going to spend too much time because you can barely see anything, as you can see. But yeah. Just to, just to give you an idea of what these would look like here. And then, yeah, you kind of got like a fireman's passage here. Not a lot of uh, head clearance, as you can see. It's... And this, um, let's see. So, yeah, it leads to the crew spaces. Yeah, pipe tunnel. Oh, it's a dead end. That's interesting. Okay, so yeah, let's go to the actual boiler rooms here. And yeah, so you know, very similar to other White Star ships here, as you can see. You know, you got your coal bunkers here. Um, you got these areas here. Interesting. So yeah, of course you got coal burning uh, boilers, as you can see. And then up here, yep, go up a few steps, and you're in the engine room. And these were expansion engines, I believe. Yeah, 335, so that's uh, Celtic's yard number. Olympics was 400. And yeah, you know, you got catwalks, stairs, lots of stuff that I have no idea about. Like I said, I'm not an expert on the engineering portions, so uh, maybe in the future, you know. And yeah, so this is what the actual engine casing would look like. You got an emergency exit here for the crew. Uh, some type of electric room, yeah. Whoa, holy crap, look at all the detail here. Damn, this is dedication, guys. This is what dedication looks like. And of course you got propeller shafts, which are really long, and they kind of remind me of the Large Hadron Collider, actually, kind of, for some reason. And yeah, of course you got triple screws here. And the rudder. And the actual stern here, so... Oh uh, yeah, Celtic and Liverpool. And yeah, so there you guys go. There's the Celtic for you. Um, so yeah, overall it's a very nice build. Absolutely incredible. And there's three more of these. So yeah, Creepercraft has built the entire Big Four uh, fleet. So I would definitely like to check out some of the other ones. Um, but, you know, it is it is pretty much just the same ship, pretty much, you know, it was from the same template with just some, you know, changes. You know, strip away all the bells and whistles, and it's the same ship, pretty much. Um, so, yeah, definitely um, really well made, like, really well made. Um, yeah, these guys deserve all the, the attention that they get because they really put out some really amazing stuff with bringing these ships back to life. Um, and, you know, giving us an idea of what they looked like, you know, both inside and out. And, 
yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. You know, very, very nice work, as you can see. Um, definitely recommend this if, you know, you're a White Star Line fan, because the big four, you know, they're not as appreciated as the Olympic class. You know, the Olympic class really gets all of the attention. So, but it's nice um, going uh, through some of these less known ships. And yeah, so I think that's going to be it for the video. Um, eventually, I will tour the rest of the rest of the big four ships, and I also got to um, get around to uh, the Olympic class. So yeah, those are going to be coming up sometime later. You know, in a not too distant future, along with some other stuff I want to review. And yeah, so there you guys have the Celtic made by Krubercraft. And yeah, so guys, uh, that's going to be the end of the video. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. So, bye for now.